Hello everyone, welcome back to Ultra's Place Fallout 2. We've just been wandering around in Clement looking for this Vic bloke. We did get a pit boy, which took me a while to realise, because it didn't, it didn't tell me, he just told me I got a vault suit or something. Um, and we have to find him from... what? Uh, from Arroyo's. Quests, find Vic the trader, retrieve the Gek. But, we didn't find Vic and... I cheated and found that that's not where he is, but we have found a robot, which does not appear to be hostile, so I'm going to go and talk to him. Oh, it's hostile. I hurt it? Did I save recently? Maybe. The robot shudders under this intense attack. Six points. Is this just going to be like them plants? <laughs> Except it's actually moving. So Mr. Handy, I thought it might be. They're a lot, a lot bigger in this game than they are in real life. Whoa, how come you get to hit me all of a sudden? What the heck? <laughs> can we... Should we leave? Well, we can try resting now, I suppose. Let's just uh, hang out here for an hour. Three hours. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the, the game doesn't darken or lighten. Unless, well maybe it does. But it doesn't seem to. Maybe they're skipping that in this one. It's taken me literal days. Oh, there we go. Literal days to heal. Luckily, I, I don't get hungry. <laughs> Apparently. <coughs> yeah, there's no hunger. Well, let's not go that way. Um, What's next? Hello, who are you? Junk. Give yeah, it the people. A trapper? The trappers? Damn tribals always stirring up trouble. Don't think we want you in this, but this, this part of town, this... You're, you're proud of this? Where am I? <laughs> Another weird thing about this game. I came out of the north... I came south out of the other town, which is presumably north of me now. But I ended up here. And not over there. How did I get here? Does this take me back to there? Yeah, and now I'm here. I'm so confused. I feel it was a, an inordinate amount of time for me to wait to be healed. And that Mr. Handy, just being cool and not hurting me and then taking all of its AP at once. Insane. No thank you. Oh, I've got a gun. I forgot about that. Nothing in the crate. Let's um equip it, shall we? Do I have to reload this rifle, by the way? Seems like it is loaded. That, that made a noise as if that's the correct thing to do. So I'm guessing it was the correct thing to do. Single. Yeah, single shot or single aim shot. No double shot here. Gecko pelt. Oh, they're, they're worth a lot. Give me that. All. Done. All. Done. Nice. Who's buying gecko pelts? Was it Vic? I don't know where Vic is. You can't you can shut those. Alright, only if you can see them. Fair enough. I want to explore the rest of it, but it doesn't seem like we can. Ooh. Nice of you to visit all of us here. My name's Slim Pickett. I talk for Trapper Town. Hello there, Slim. Why do you call this Trapper Town? Well, this here part of town is where all of those trappers live when we're not out trapping geckos. Only problem about the free digs are the rats on the north side, but we have most of the entrances to that part of the moor barricaded pretty good. Do you have the north side? Blocked off all entrances to the north side of the town, except one. I have a key to that one entrance, just in case anyone needs to get over there for any reason. I can't figure out why anyone would want to, though. I sure wouldn't. But I can just leave and go round. So, what are you talking about? Uh, unless north side of Trapper Town, that would make sense. Interesting. Tell me something else. I'm missing again. Not for. I'm an explorer. I want to explore every place I can. Besides, maybe there's a Gek forgotten on the back shelf in there. I'm going to help you with a rat problem. That seems like a good one. I want to try to get that car in inside the fence. Well, okay. Thanks for the key. Let's have some questions. What do you mean a Gek? Well, I saw an ad for one of those in an old magazine, but I don't think they exist anymore. Certainly not around here, any place. I got a key. 
Where do I put it? It's this. Is it this? Okay. Yeah, it is. But also, use this key. <laughs> don't have to tell you to use a key. And then unlock. Open the door. Go in. Shut the door. And then. Lock it again. Because there's a reason it was locked. Guns. Hello. We're in combat. Oh, a rat. Hello, a rat. Okay. <laughs> Finished. Oh, look. It's a new Coca Cola. So, items on the ground, yes. Actual things you can interact with that happen to be on the ground, no. That rat was easy. Do you think it was going to be like a rat king, which is really hard to beat? Or like a, new, a Mr. Handy Rat or something? Lulls you into a false sense of security this whole time and then... Nope. Dead. <laughs> it's empty. And this is a slow-paced game, okay? I hope you're not here for high-octane entertainment. This is low-octane entertainment, right? I'm actually going to step back this time. Because it, it had a go at me. <laughs> I don't want to get bit by a radioactive rat. It's probably got the lurgy or something. Just kill it. Yeah. It says without taking a scratch. Does that imply that if you do it with taking a scratch, it's less? I don't know. Should be more. You know, if you get hit during combat, you've learned way more than if you snapped it. Like that, right? Critically hit for four points, but a normal hit is like five points. What? Get off it. So there we got 50. Maybe it does. Maybe that was just a higher level rat. I don't know. So it was a smart idea in um, Fallout 3. Giving you a radio. <laughs> Licensed music, granted. But also uh, something to listen to. I'm sure there was another rat here. There you are. Which is straight into combat! Um, this is what I was talking about with the traps as well. It's like, I can't see this rat, I can't hit it, but then it gets into combat with me and gets the first first jab. It's just rude. I'll do this. I can do this. Minus 54%. What's in this dead dude? Strong peasant. There's nothing, doesn't even got any clothes on. Oh, I'm so used to just collecting literally everything from everything as you go through these levels. <laughs> Did we already do that bookshelf? In the in the new fallouts, ooh, a mandal. In the new fallouts, you've got um, all the clothes and stuff that people are wearing, and you can sell it all, and you can wear it all, and what have you. But corpses don't have clothes on in this game. What a weird layout of building. Anyway, look, I'm going to save the game. Because I want to see... ...about using this, right? You lost one perception. Done. Character. Four. Now, it doesn't say... I don't have anything that suggests it's going to come back. Right? What time is it? Nine minutes past eight. Rest for an hour. Is it going to say you gain one perception? I don't know. You can't tell me that every single time I use healing power, powder, power, I, I lose a perception permanently. That doesn't make any sense. Really? You lose a whole... I haven't got back the one I, lose, I lost, lost, lost last time. You're just supposed to use it so sparingly. Are you just supposed to stand around and wait every time you need to heal? Well, in that, you know what? That's why I saved it. I wanted to know. So I'm going to load this one. Because it seems there's no penalty, in my opinion, to just resting until healed and then waiting until the next morning. <laughs> right? What, what could possibly go wrong? I've killed all the rats. It's, it's, it's taken me many, many days. I think the thing is, 
in this game, this is not a penalty. In the first one, where waiting that many days is just going to wind down the mission clock. I don't even have to wait till morning. It is morning. Then that, you know, that makes way more sense. Let's open this. Rubber boots. Guess we could take them. Can we wear them? Can you actually equip things? You pop sludge at least for a while. See, I was walking in sludge and it hurt. But there's no um, armor slots. It's just armor. One type. Interesting. It's simpler. I'll, gra I'll grant you that. Ooh. I think that goes in my gun. I need practice with. So I believe there's nothing left to search. There were no guns in the gun shop. There was bullets though, which actually I'm not going to complain about. It seems handy. Just, there's nothing in it. Okay, it's just a cart in the sewers. It's not a sewers. It's some sort of mine. Oh. Rats in the mine? Yeah. Stab it. One shot. Back of the net. So this machinery. Printing press or manufacturing doohickey. Well, let's be cautious. We can't see a single thing because of the angle of the game. This game definitely works better in 3D because you have so much more involvement in the environment. If the game... This this style would work in the modern 3D sense. You know, like... Um, I don't know, Neverwinter Nights or something. Where you can spin the camera around, change the angle, all that sort of thing. You can actually look around you. Just look around you. Um, but th this weird cut-out hollow of barely being able to see a single thing. Nah. 10 millimeters jacketed hollow point, I guess that means? Hollow point? This early on in the game? I'm wondering if this... Oh, look at this stuff. Crowbar? Yes, please. How do I know how much damage a thing does? Is it ST? What's ST? Min strength. It doesn't tell me how good the... This weighs four pounds, this weighs five pounds. Can I use this? Let's try it. It doesn't seem necessarily have a range, right? Swing, swing, or aim swing. I'm going to try it, but I feel like without the range of the... <laughs> without the range of the spear, and of course my proficiency with it, maybe. This is far worse. Although, you can't hit a rat with a crowbar. You deserve what you get. How many 45% chances in a row can you possibly miss? I've got two of them. I didn't realise that was not... Okay, that's an actual inventory slot, as it were. So when it's not in there. Oh, second like umbrella. Uh, so I have got two of these, actually. Sell one. Let's uh, level up. Oh, yes. Awareness. You're given detailed information about any critter you examine. You see their exact hit points and information about any weapon they're equipped with. That seems good. Comprehension. You gain 50% more skill points when reading books, which is probably a good time to take something like this because I haven't found one yet. So all books will benefit from this. The entire game will benefit from this. Immediately gain one experience level. Commander, ten the initial reaction of another person is improved by 10% for each level of this perk. You've learned to pack your equipment better. Accessing your... Okay, don't want that one. You've learned to increase your dialogue options without understanding what you're talking about. <laughs> each level of this perk will increase your intelligence by 1 up to 10 for the purposes of dialogue only. That's very interesting. You're a Steeder Swift learner. As each additional level... Each level gives you an additional 5% bonus whenever you earn experience points. I feel like this is definitely the one we take. That or comprehension, but what I'm thinking is... Skill books are quite rare. They're quite spread out. Whereas I'm always getting XP all the time. So this will immediately benefit me. And then... It says per level, right? So I could take it next level as well. It means I'm never going to really bother with <laughs> the other one, but that's fine. Uh, and we've got 19 skill points to spend. And I think we spend it on uh, small guns, actually. We want a bit more sneak. I forgot about sneak, actually. We should try and sneak around a bit more. That will probably help us sneak up on enemies like rats, for example. In fact, yeah, more in lockpick. Make that a round number. That'll do. Uh, good. Then we should nip over here. Let's put sneak on and see what happens. We don't even tip... Oh, okay. If you run, it turns off. That makes sense. We're not even tiptoeing. Not even invisible. It's just this label down here. Is there a map of this place? Yeah, look. It's just called Rat Caves, even though there's a printing press in it. <laughs> or something. 
Well, that works. That's pretty good, actually. Hey! See, I... It's real time, except in combat. This is why you want to stay in combat. That makes sense. But now I can't stay in combat in order to force the... But I'm not... The enemy's not aggroed on me, so I press spacebar to end my turn, but combat doesn't end. Combat does end, but shouldn't, because I want to then aggro the next enemy, and I want to be able to right-click to get to my weapon. But I can't. Combat ends, the enemy walks up to me, bites me, while I'm trying to, as a player, figure out... I just... Uh... Right? You see where I'm coming from? I'm not actually insane here. That's a sledgehammer. I can't carry that. There must be a button for this, and I don't know what it is. <laughs> right? Mm, F. Mm, a. It is A. Right, so you can whack A real quick. So if the enemy hasn't seen you yet, you put yourself into combat. Pauses the game. Stop. <laughs> or pauses the... You know, Pauses the game in the sense that the enemies aren't moving anymore because it's now turn-based. Alright, let's go down... We've done everything up here anyway. Is this going to get harder and harder? This is an infinite... <laughs> Don't go away. No. <laughs> okay, well, I'm not going up there. <laughs> Thought I was. Changed my mind. I didn't want to go up there anyway. What are you talking about? Putting words in my mouth. Dead tracker. <gasps> Okay, cool. Look at this. It's a 10mm pistol. Done. Let's um, equip this. And then do this. Yeah, that does work. Well, at least that's intuitive. We should walk around with this out and see how easy it is to aim at a rat. Oh, jeez. What did I say about this? <gasps> Look at this. 13%... Shot on that. See a large albino mole rat with an enlarged brain case. He was frosting at the. He looks wounded. He also looks like he could kill me with one, one hit. Are you a baddie? I'm not sure if I should shoot it. Well, then we save it and find out, right? So I'm just going to walk up to it basically, see if it attacks me. Yep. <laughs> okay. It's not moving though, look. 41%. And with this? It's all bad. <laughs> oh look, you see that? Uh oh. <laughs> no, they're coming right for us. I'm, I'm guessing if I keep moving back, I'll, I'll minimise the damage I take. Find the hit points. Oh, use the stim pack. Use the stim pack. Where is it? I'm gonna die. <laughs> it's really hard. Hit it again. If it... Yeah, I did. <laughs> All right, fine. Load. And then ignore that thing, because it's very scary and we should ignore it. Until we're more higher a level. So, I was wrong about the Rat King, but also... Not entirely wrong, I suppose. Oh! Look at that! When I actually hit them... Oh, that does some damage! 11 HP, where did that go? We should leave. <laughs> Do you think we should leave? I think we should leave. Look how many hit points we've got. <laughs> there needs to be a faster way of rest healing. Now, shall we go down again? Sure, why not? You sure I can't use it? I can use this. Look at this. I was just being silly. If you miss it slightly, you can't use it. That's very silly. Oh, there's more. More cave. That makes sense. Oh, hello. I was about to press this button to see if there was a rat. And it sort of presented itself. It's squish. I could step on you for more HP than this thing does. Oh, Christ. Do you see that? What is this? Cave wall. You need to be better than this, okay? Shoot it in the leg, it'll be a lot slower. 
I missed. Okay, let's um, worry about that in the sense of I'm going to die now. 41% in the head, actually. That's, is it worth a try? 81 in the body. I want to. I was thinking maybe slow it down, right? But how'd you miss? I mean, I know you had almost no chance of hitting. But... Oh, so... Got me twice. Reload. I don't know how many shots are in it. Oh, what? Why are there two now? How big of a target do you need? Oh, this game is really punishing if you don't save it. Oh, this Joker's coming at me like a jazz hamster. You missed. It's literally point blank range. You cannot miss. <laughs> it's impossible to miss. How are you bad? Right, upstairs? I'm not going back up there again. We'll come back here when we're a higher level. Uh, and therefore less likely to just die immediately. <laughs> we need some more HP. And some more ability to hit things. We need some more AP. AC. AP. A oh, my armor classes. Okay. I mean, I cannot get there. Just go to the ladder. Right, well, I died three times. <laughs> I thought, you know, the first time that I made it through the bottom cave, I was like, oh, pretty good. Um, but then it became really hard, actually, which is interesting because it, it just means that I got lucky the first time, which is, it happens in these games. Uh, but it also means that you get this false sense of security, which is, I, I said that would happen when we went into the caves. I said, you're going to feel like it's easy, then you're going to find an enemy that you can't deal with. Um, or something like that. And I did suggest it would be a rat king. And it would find a rat god, to be fair. So it wasn't far off. But yeah, this is a, a higher level area than we are, unfortunately. So let's um, just leave, I suppose. People keep mentioning the den. And because I spoiled myself, I kind of know that... Uh, I need to find that. So let's let's leave Trapo Town. Trapping grounds, okay. Oh, I'm in combat. Right. Against this. This dude out here. Tough little gecko. Minus 6%. Come at me, bro. Come at me, bro. 55%. 52%. I'm less likely to hit with my actual spear. At least it only takes 4, H 4 AP, right? Stop it. 42%. Oh, if I'm actually doing the sensible thing and not letting it get up close. I'm less likely to hit it. Again, how many 55% shots can you miss in a row? That's five in a row now. Hit the damn thing. Six? I don't have a 55% chance to hit, do I? Because if I did, I wouldn't miss it as many stupid... Oh, 11 points. How many have you got? Severely wounded. Yeah, it does hit you twice. <laughs> Just leave. Don't follow me. Okay. I can, I can do this all day, okay? You and me, Gecko, we're going to have to talk. Also, I don't want to go back there. Okay. Now what? <laughs> Flipping now what? Okay, you can go to a place and then you just click on it. What's here? And this is how you... Level up? Don't know. Seems to be nothing here. I'm really not sure what you're supposed to do. <laughs> Might as well reveal the map. What else can you do? Ooh. Uh, no. I'll just leave the geckos alone. Maybe there's none in here. What's this? Booze. Okay, take that. Done. So I've encountered some geckos, presumably in an unoccupied house. Or around an unoccupied house. It looks like a farm, but I don't think there's anybody here. Just, just, us. ain't no one here but us geckos, right? 
this what we're supposed to do? Just wander around? Till we find stuff? I don't know. Ooh. Hi. Old man, you will come with us. Who are you? I will never support the cause of your superiors. I will not ask you again. Come now, or you will be made an example of. Rather, what knowledge I have, disappear with me into the grave. So be it. Kill them all. Whoa, dude. Okay. I can't. <laughs> it's a cutscene. Can't turn around and walk away if it won't let me. You seem to find some people in the wrong place at the wrong time. Let's see what they had on them. Nothing. Kid. Nothing. Oh! That was good. Ooh. Unknown. Seems like exploring has paid off. Hello! Where are we? Town looks like one mean place. A good place to own a gun. Who are you? A Reliant. Like a Robin Reliant. Mine. I need a fix. Right, let's have a look. Bullet in board. Someone has scribbled something on the side of this post. Becky's a her and her jinx is watered down. She's a crook and a liar. The writing is barely legible. Um, we found the den, apparently. It does say that. Businesses. So, this seems like a good place to leave it. I don't know how long the episode's been. I've been recording for nearly an hour and a half, so hopefully I've pared it down to a sensible amount of time. But I'll say thank you for watching. I'm recording this on the same day as the previous one. Again, still don't really have a, a schedule in mind for this series because record a lot, chop it down, spend some time not recording because it takes me ages. So, again, I appreciate your patience in my random and infrequent updates but if you did like the video i would appreciate a like on it anyway to let me know that you like it that's how that works but you should know that you like it so more people get to see it and uh if you have any hints and tips as to how to best play this dang game because it's so inordinately difficult to control then i'm all ears please let me know um but until next time I'll thank you for watching, and I'll see you.